Britain's biggest bank, a global giant. But HSBC is getting smaller, cutting billions of pounds of costs, and that means huge job losses. It's axing up to 25,000 posts around the world. 8,000 of them will be in the UK. That's around one in six of the workforce. They've been through so much change in HSBC. So many uh, people have already left their jobs and our uh, members are already working very hard. They've worked so hard since the financial crisis and to wake up today to find out that so many of them are gonna be losing their jobs is just a kick in the teeth. It's still unclear how many of these job losses will fall here at HSBC's High Street, banks or if branches will have to close. It says by becoming more efficient, it won't need as many people as it once did. Customers, though, were wondering what it might mean for them. I'm used to going five or six miles to the bank. If I had to go 15 or 16, I might get a bit upset. Because we've banked with these for such a long time and, you know, it's a, it's a nice bank. They're very... They're very good. Like other banks, HSBC is having to separate its retail side from its riskier investment banking operations. So it says to avoid confusing customers, HSBC's high street branches will get a new name. At HSBC, we never underestimate the importance of local knowledge. This is a bank with a presence across the globe, but today it confirmed it's pulling out of Brazil and Turkey. Not quite as local then as it used to be. It's a very tough environment for banks of any kind to make a lot of money at the moment. The regulators are hitting them with fines for past misdemeanors. The regulators are holding, requiring them to hold more capital. There's a massive technology change going on and interest rates are only 1%, which makes it really hard for banks to make money. HSBC makes most of its money in Asia, where it started its business 150 years ago. And it's where it wants to focus on now. The question is, will it move its London HQ here too? It says it'll decide by the end of the year. Emma Simpson, BBC News.